Well, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Badwater Lakes. Yes, we are here in hard mode with our folktale beavers, and we last left off trying to get these floodgates built, and, you know, they're, they're, they are getting built. Oh, well, slowly. We have log... Ooh, we actually don't have logs. We have, like, four logs, and we really don't have a lot of water. That's not good either. Wow. Okay. We are having some challenges, so... Ooh. Let's have a look-see. What's, what's the problem here, sirs? Let's make sure these workplaces are both high priority. So, <clears throat> excuse me. They just keep pumping and pumping and pumping. I'm wondering if we should soon think about a third pump. That actually might be uh, worth our while to do. So let's have a look-see. We want to actually probably put the pump in here. So why don't we come in and unlock the double platforms for 150 signs. And we can then just plop it right here. So we're going to get this guy built slowly but surely. But yeah, we are going to start off by ensuring we can start surviving longer droughts. So access to more water is definitely key. You can see we actually have two free beavers. That is good news. Now, but, 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 we, wow, we're going to need a lot of things here. So we, we have trees that are slowly growing. How are these guys doing? 30%. We've got, uh, you know, some oaks that are coming along. It's, it's going to take a bit, but the logs we need. So, okay, we are making planks. We, well, plank, we have one plank. But that plank or planks are going to be necessary because we're going to look to take those planks and turn them into gears. So let's come into our wood. And actually, we're going to build a second lumber mill. And we are now going to unlock the gear workshop for 100 science. And there we go. Okay. Um, hmm. I was hoping to squeeze in another power wheel. Oh, I said, well, you can do one there. Yes. But I also wanted to put one right here. Hmm. And that's because these guys require 50. I believe you can see they're 120. So why don't we think of another way? Hmm. 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 Well, what we could look at doing is doing a little gymnasium over here. So how, what's, what's the best way for us to make that happen? Uh, if we were to continue along... We can do two here and two there. <clears throat> okay, this should work. This, yeah, it'll it'll work eventually. So let's put our pathing in. And then what we can do is come in and use uh, some of our power shafts. Now, I think we can probably just get away with a three-way here, a four-way there couple straight shafts. Ooh, we're going to need some science here. And we can unlock that for 80 science. Build that up. Oh, no. No, no, no. Our math will not work out. Okay. Well, uh, change of plans. Um, ooh, you know what? No, no, not yet. So we'll put that back in. What we'll do is we'll go up and over instead. So we need, we need to build up a little more science, I think, because if I come back into path and structures, we're going to need a single platform. But that's that's fine. So let's prioritize a few things here because this stuff is important. This stuff, eh, not so much. Actually, we'll make the middle stuff regular priority so that we can easily make sure we get that built. Nice and easy. Okay. So, but let's get ourselves some more trees. Ooh, we've got four free beavers now. Okay. The the kids are growing up. So why don't we run a path along here? And we're going to put in another lumberjack flag. Uh-oh. Incoming drought. Incoming drought. So actually, hang on. Priorities? We, this, this here. Sorry, God. Priority. This over here. Let's make that second high priority. And why is that a second high priority? 
because we want to make sure we hold all this water, which is very near and dear to our heart. So, okay, what, what do we need? We need planks. Okay, the planks are coming over here. Ooh, this, this is going to be tight, folks. This is going to be very, very, very tight. Okay, but we, we can get this done, I'm sure. Okay, so the next thing I want to do while all that is going on, we actually are going to come in here and we're going to straight clear a path all the way through. And why is that? Well, quite simply, we're going to go down and we're going to come back up. And that's because we're going to take advantage of this area. I think trees, trees, trees is, is what we are really need to focus on here. So we are going to put another forester over here as soon as we get all this cleared up. Okay, keep an eye on our beavers. All the beavers appear to be busy. Water levels going back up. And, and you know what? And the reason why we're building the gears, if you haven't guessed, is if we come to our storage, we need gears for the medium tank. So that's our next upgrade. So once again, we need science, but we need free planks, but we're not gonna have free planks until these guys are done. So, which, which they're getting close. We, we might actually get this built before, before the dread arrives, which would be a huge thing. Okay, so we can speed things up. Oh, we have an injured beaver. Injured beaver? What's wrong with you, injured beaver? Okay. Um, you're not saying. Okay, so let's look at our well-being. Medical beds. Okay. Okay, we can't afford the medical beds yet. So, but soon, 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 soon. But what we can afford is some decorations. We're going to come in and we're going to unlock the shrubs. Yes, sir. And these are different shrubs. So... What we are going to do is come along. Hmm. Do I want to? Because we also do have... Well, that's 150. Okay, we're not going to lock that yet. So, what I think we're going to do is take advantage... Oh, wow! Okay, it's going to take a bit. But we're going to start with these two shrubs. I think the next thing we'll do from a decorations point of view, though, we will come in and make sure we unlock the correct ones, which is a two by two. Oh no, okay, not enough science points yet, no. But you can see what we're about to lay down here. We're gonna put on some wonderful roofs, which are really gonna help. So that, that, that'll take a little bit. So, you know, things are going to happen here, but it's gonna, it's gonna take a bit. It's gonna take a bit. Ooh, one day left. Hang on. One day left. Before the drought arrives. Okay. So all that is built. I thought I set you guys. One drought starts, raise it. One drought ends, lower it. So maybe we need to start them lowered. Maybe maybe that's that's the, the trick with this. Oh, oh. We're almost done. Okay, I think we're gonna be fine this route. We got this one built over here too. So we're gonna hold all this, this water back. So it should be good. We should be in a good position. So yeah, I think there's very little to worry about. So at least for now. So our next step is get all of this built. We'll see how the drought goes, but we're gonna get ourselves across we're going to start getting the gears built. So let's let, let's see uh, what it looks like as soon as we get our gears. Well, gears are underway. I was about to say we have two, but we have three gears, which is good news. And we have uh, 216 science. So what we're going to do, come into storage, and we're going to unlock our medium water tanks. These are going to be extremely important. In fact, we're going to line up at least three to start here. Well, actually, at least that, that's what we're going to do to start. So let, let's get these all set to water we're gonna get this going as a high priority so 900 water we should be fine as you can see we're, we're, we're actually maxed out at the moment the beavers are just sitting there which you know it's it's fine for now it's a shortish drought but you know it's these are gonna get bigger better and more difficult 
Now, speaking of difficult, you might be like, hey, Sargon, uh, what are you going to do to get yourself uh, over there? Well, it's it's actually going to be relatively easy. So, first thing we, we can do is check. Yeah, we have 100 signs. We're going to unlock that. So, I'll give you a little secret. We're going to put a platform here. Yep. And we're going to put stairs coming over. So, but first... Well, what's 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 first? First is we're going to allow some of these things to get built. You can see these are underway slowly but surely. But uh, those are going to be important, as you'll see here in a second. As you can see, we're only getting 45, 47 percent. So 57 and 120 horsepower is there. Basically, you know, basically we're getting half. So we are going to need more power to have all of these three operating. So. What do we got? 50, 100. Uh, so basically we need 220. So each produces 50. So we really need at least three of these operating. You know, at least two would be, two more would be nice. So that is close to being, well, done. It is, it is done. So now here's the risky part for us all is what we're going to do. Oh, they get unhappy. No, no, we can't do that then. Okay. We are going to have to let these things build up. Why? Because we actually need these. Hey, wait a minute. You get your butt over here, buddy. Um, we, we need these to operate uh, so that we can produce the planks so we can build the platforms and the stairs. We need uh, four, eight, eight planks just for the stairs. So we need 12 planks. And as you can see, we're converting some of these right into gears because they come over here you can see yeah five gears already there those should be zero that's fine okay it it is what it is here so okay oh speaking of it is we are very close to getting ourselves all the way across and why is that important actually technically we are already across so let's come in here and start thinking about a second forester Hmm, where, where does this make the most sense? It is tempting to run a path, put it all the way back here. But I think, I think we will. Let's do that. I think, I think this is going to be worth our while. So let's come in here. In fact, you know what? Let's, let's move this down further. Let's have a little look-see. That gets us down pretty far. Move all the way over. Okay, I think that's where we're gonna go. So let's move this path. Move it, move it. And then we can run it right along here. Oh, let's try that again. Pathy path, there we go. Got a path running right along. We can start thinking about where we'll place our lumberjack flags. I think we can put two there. And then at the same time... Oh, do we want them there? You know what? No. No, we won't, we won't build those there. So let's come... Right here. We can put some lumberjack flags right there. And let's build a nice little storage area. I think that will work. So those guys can get building, but what we these guys are actually low, low priority. We don't need anybody working there at this point. This we should make a second high priority and a second high priority workplace. Quite simply, because we're gonna want trees. Trees, 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 trees. I think we can afford to make this like a big oak grove. There we go. We can kind of just come all the way down. There we go. So big, 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 big oak grove. That should be on the money for us. We just, we just got to wait for free planks, which, as you can tell, it's, it is going to take a while. Okay, so speaking of planks, actually we have... Well, we had two planks. Where'd you go? Planks come in, planks go out. Oh, and we're not even making gears anymore. Oh, that's, that's, that's bad. So, actually, it looks like we're having a labor issue. 
we are, have more jobs than we do beavers. So it's actually probably a good thing we didn't put any roofs on our homes here yet. So why don't we have a little think about this? So if we were, I think we can go up. So let's 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 think about going up here. So let's let's do that. So actually, I'm going to slow things down as we we can build right around here. So all the beavers can get up. Well, we'll get up eventually. Where's the best spot? Okay, I actually, you know what we're also going to do? Oh, the drought has ended. That's good news. Why don't we put another storage there to make this even Stevens for us? And then we can come in with our housing. And let's, for the most part, I think put these in a different spot. There we go. So I think we can start with this. And now the, the question is going to be, well, actually, let's properly prioritize these guys and these guys. What's the best way for them to get up? So actually, let's pause because we are going to move the district center. So why don't we do that now? I do want the district center to be centered over here. We are going to back it off. So we've got some space and we might even move that back at some point, but Okay, there we go. So let's let's do this. Let things run again. So we could put stairs here, here, and just run. The, I think that's what we're gonna do. They can run all this around, around, and around. You go. Now, the next thing we're going to do, because you might have been screaming at this before, is we are going to run up a staircase, excuse me, right here, so this can connect. So we can shorten the distance it takes these poor beavers to get to their water storage, as well as these jobs up here. So I think that's going to be a good, good, big help. So we're going to add nine more beavers for now we don't we don't want to grow too fast as tempting as to build everything making this as managed growth we'll make sure that we have plenty of food and plenty of water which we are short on at the moment so but that's fine and speaking of food we will make these carrots because well that's really all that we're growing and we don't really care about the berries the berries are just an added bonus that's a bonus though. This this forester is now hard at work, which is very good news. And the other good news you might have noticed, the drought is over, so we are coming through. Our automatic gates are working. They did go up during the drought and they are back down. So now the question is, when does the bad water arrive? I'm getting a little nervous, but we're 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 doing okay for now. But what's gonna be even better? is making sure we have enough gears. When I get that built, so I think what we're gonna do is we'll zip along, get all of the gears built for, for this. We'll, we'll then turn off the, the workshops basically, or at least the gear workshops so that we can save up for all the planks that we do need. I made a small mistake. Well, when I moved the district center, uh, I forgot to reprioritize it as a workplace. So all these beavers were working elsewhere. And I was staring at this medium tank. I'm like, it was at nine of 20 gears. And there's like, there were eight, nine, 10 gears just sitting in storage. I'm like, why aren't you being built? And I just watched the day go by. Yeah. So word of the wise, if something's not getting built, double check that you actually have builders set in this case in my district center when I moved it. Yeah, they, they, they kind of got forgotten to go back to uh, as a priority workplace. Which, you know, by the hair of our chinny chin chin, we should be getting uh, this uh, medium tank built just before the drought starts, which is good news. Yeah, we have another drought incoming, of course, hard mode. So this, come on, come on, just two more gears. One more gear, because there's 19, 
So let me make one more gear. One more gear. Euler, anybody, make one more gear. Come on, come on. Gears, 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 gears. Is that a gear? There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to pause the gear workshop so that the planks can just get built like crazy because we have other things on order to build. And I did pause these two medium tanks. So we should start to see this fill up. Now the question is, how long will this drought be? Hopefully it's still pretty short because, yeah, we, we could definitely use a shorter drought season. So as we continue... Okay, drought has started. It's a 12-day drought. Okay, our longest yet. So, well, that's not good. Okay, well, actually, uh, that, that, that part was fine. We can set that to logs. It will all be good. And we can set all this to make sure it gets cut as soon as they are ready to be cut. There we go. All good. Okay, so we have food. We are waiting for complete access here. Maybe we should prioritize the staircase here. There we go. Get this done, please. So we can start getting some more baby beavers. Because we do have some free jobs. So I think we are... Well, I was about to say we're at the point. Okay, we need... Where are, you? Where are Mr. Planks going? Um, hmm. Oh, of course. All of this. So let's... In fact, we're going to pause the building of these, because I don't want any planks to go anywhere else at this point. We are going to be saving them. Yes. Okay, I think that's the only spot where I had planks going. I need to save. Wait a minute, where? Oh, no, that's not a plank. Um, hmm. In fact, wow. Okay, that's how many free beavers we have is I need to save some planks. Where are you going, planks? These are paws, so yeah, they shouldn't be going anywhere. Pause the gear workshop, so they're not making gears. Pumps are active. This is all built. Okay, now we have planks. Now we have planks. So if we can get one more plank made before nightfall, which the answer to that is no, no, no more planks. Because I, I need to make one, right? Right? I need one more plank. Yeah, I need a total of eight planks to make this madness work. And then power shaft is just log, I believe. Yeah. Okay, so let's make planks. Okay, good. Planks are made. We are going to disconnect. All those beavers should go elsewhere. We're going to run. Let's put that there. We'll get that built first. And now we can put a staircase in. So they should not get trapped. We can come over to this side and build another staircase. And don't forget, we need connection. There we go. Wow, they're really, really fast. And there we go. So we should have that should be 150 power we're producing. Which we're producing enough. We're going to get planks made. We can start then. Maybe, just maybe. Yeah, let's let's start building this fella. So we're, we're in good shape. I'm actually very, very, very happy. So I think what we can now is we let all this stuff to get built... Which, I'm going to have to just go in and unpause things. But after I do that, we, we can just kind of let things run just for a little bit to allow everybody to catch up with their chores. But as you can see, plenty of water, logs, they're growing in size. Food stores, we're doing okay. Um, in fact, we, we're going to have to maybe start thinking about more food. But for the most part now, we are in good, good shape. Well, uh, okay, here's our first drought damage incoming. So the water just dried up, you know, because I do have three uh, pumps here going. 
So it has brought down and used up all the water that was being stored in this area. Now, a one tile deep storage, that's, that's, that is going to evaporate. It, not good. As you can see, we are going to be fine for water in terms of beavers not dying of thirst, which is good news, but still a problem. Now we have our gears being made, our planks being made. So our, our beaver, <coughs> excuse me, our beaver population does still need need to grow. But while, while we're here paused, well not paused, um, you know, dealing with the drought, we all, sorry about that, I got a frog in my throat here today. We are gonna deal with the fact that we have not been taking care of our poor beaver's teeth. So I think what we're gonna do is we are going to put in in a few key locations, some, you know, teeth grindstones. So we have we have the, the space for it. Hmm. I didn't leave any space over here. You know what? We're, we're going to take advantage of the fact that, you know, we, we can afford the logs. We're just going to back that up one. There we go. We can put a little path here. And now we can come back and pull out teeth grindstone. There we go. I'm going to leave that as open access and maybe leave ourselves a little reminder just in case we want to put like a staircase or, or work our way up or around or something there. So that's fine. A little bit of wastage. Ooh, let's reset that back to logs. But no harm, no foul. So we, we do need to get ourselves through this. It's fine. Actually, is it fine? Yeah, 13.6 days, 12 days basically. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's this, this time it's fine. But we are going to have to look at holding more water, which means we're probably going to have to look towards explosives uh, sooner than later to uh, make this just a tad deeper to hold even more water. Well, Riv well, not Rivia, well, Bad Water Lakes, we've got a problem. My fellow beavers, yeah, you can see we've, we've lost all this water here. So that was a 12 day drought, which is not good for us. Now, these should survive. We should be fine, barely. But what we're gonna have to start thinking about is we're gonna have to harvest our food much faster. So what we are gonna do is put in a twin farm. And at the same time, we are going to expand our farming area just a bit, so let's get rid of these fellows here. And I think at the same time, I, as soon as we figure out how far this water goes again, I think we'll expand our carrot field here. Yeah, for now, I, well, the carrots are fine. They're, 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 they're good enough for Bugs Bunny, they're good enough for our beavers for now. So, not a problem. Well, I said I don't think it's a problem. We got plenty of water, so plenty of water, and I can see food is, is decent. Drought is almost over, so not not a huge deal. Now, we did talk about explosives, so hey, things have changed here. Things have changed. So where are we? Uh, we need to go to landscaping. So explosives factory, 400 science, which we do have. But, you know, we need metal, which, you know, that in itself is fine. Gears, fine. Planks, fine. So we need to get gears, but you notice now it's no longer paper. We need to get the, the bad water. I guess it's not only, you know, will kill you, but it will also blow blow up. So don't don't throw a match on, I guess, a bad water lake. Uh, oh, wait a minute. That's the name of this colony. Okay, okay, you know. Woo, drought has ended. We are now gonna get some water in. So that is good news. So we need to start thinking about that. So the smelters, let's have a look. Where are we? Uh, is it under sun? No, no, of course it's under metal where it's always been. Okay. We need 250 for the scavenger flag, 300 for a smelter. Smelter requires 400. So where do we have options? We can access, you know, a nice, nice thing of metal right here. Okay, further down, there's, you know, we can eventually go to the underground ruins. There is an underground ruins down here, plus uh, ruins right there. That's not too far away. There is, there is this, which also has 
the bad water. So you know what? I think we're gonna work our way over. So why don't why don't we do that? Uh, okay. Well, how do we how do we do that? Hmm. Well, I think what we're going to do. <clears throat> yeah, let's let's do this. We're going to work our way down. I was about to explode that, but we we can hold off on that for a little bit. Let's come on down. We're going to work our way down. Because what I want to do is get over here. And for now... What's the best way? We need to get ourselves up because I want to work here and we'll get a scavenger going down. Okay, so let's, let's, let's do this. We can do it like this. We can. We're going to do a little investment here. Work our way across. And then a two high. Yeah, there should be fine. Continue our pathing. We could probably even think about getting ourselves up and over here, which probably is a good idea onto itself. <clears throat> Excuse me. So why don't we do that too? So let's... Oh, we can't easily do that there, but we can do it here. So if we do a two high, one high, and then our staircase is up, we can, we can work our way over and down so that they'll cut off a little bit. We'll still do this, that's fine. And then I think we just need to work our way back down as we did before. This should be a safe area because I think this will just end up being water here at some point. And here, we can now just climb ourselves back up. There we go. So that might be shorter. We'll, we'll, we'll find out now what we might as well do. Every tree is, is vital. So what we can do is also come up here and cut down these trees. There we go. That's fine. But these beavers are making quick action. So that's good news. Now, the other thing we're going to do while we're working our way over is I do want to come down to where? Um... Well, in fact, I actually probably need to come down on this side as well. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do two things. It's fine. We will have plenty of planks and wood. We're gonna work our way down, all the way down here. I'm like, why are you down here? Well, quite simply, we are going to want to levy this off. So what we're gonna do? And I missed the mark, Ashley. It's easy enough for us just to back that up one. Come on, back it up one. There we go. So that will hold off uh, water soon enough. Now, the next thing though, we want to come, oh. You know what? We can get free power over here. We haven't done that yet. Okay, so water wheels. So why don't we think about, can I not? Connection is blocked. Oh, on this. Oh, hang on. Oh, because that is one higher. Hmm. Can we still make that work? Not easily. Not easily. We're going to have to think about that. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Our first bad tide is approaching. So what does that mean? It means we should be okay. Uh, as long as we've got, oh my God, plenty of water, which we don't. We do not have plenty of water. Let's make sure you guys are working hard. Uh-oh. That's not good news. Well, we actually have 166 water, but still, I would feel much better if that was full. Because all this did dry up last time. Okay, let's slow things down here for a moment. We are going to come in and let's plant the carrots. In fact, I think we can make all of this carrots. 
There we go. And then I think we can get rid of these trees here at the same time. Clean up the space. Oh, put on a nice little cut command. Should be good. Okay. Well, we actually don't even have free beavers for that. We are once again down the beavers that we need. But I think we can deal with some of that. We can make sure we turn off things we don't need at the moment, which includes the gear workshop, which means these guys aren't needed at this point. So that's fine. Okay, planks, plenty of planks being made, which is good. I'm fine with that. We should now start having very productive farmers. Good, 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 because, wow, oh my goodness. I didn't realize that. We're, we're basically out of food. Uh, with a bad water coming in with three days. Oh my goodness. This, this, this is, this is not good. This is not good at all. Okay, but we'll, we'll survive. We will, we're not going to die episode two. No, 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 no. Um, okay, we don't need you. you can pause you. That's fine. Water's flowing in. Fine. Working our way down here. Fine. Okay, so we desperately need to make sure we got explosives. Okay, so to make explosives work, we're going to have to come down and start collecting this scrap metal for now. So that's going to require us to gain access. Then we can just do this a uh, little path unlock the scavenger flag for 250 science we can put two right there that's fine next thing is we can start running our pathing we can connect there so now we need to get where are we metal Unlock the smelter for 300 science. So, which we have everything basically, access to everything. Too far. Oh, okay, no, we'll get there. Um, we are going to need a lot of beaver power. Although, if we can get. I, and, you know, we just might have to get cheeky. Okay, let, let's see how cheeky we can be. So let's get... In fact, what we're going to do is let's get rid of these trees for now. And why we're going to get rid of those is, quite simply, we are going to put some power right here. So we can go one, two, because I think I can get, if I come back to our smelters, I think that's long enough, yeah. So that will connect. So we will get some power out of that. So now with that in mind, let's run power down. And we're just gonna have to be cheeky. So, and that's and that's fine. So to be cheeky, we're gonna come in, put a platform, high power shaft, and another high power shaft. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. What we're gonna do here, platforms across, and then we're gonna run power across and what that should allow us to do can I not is that now hang on oh I'm doing power I'm like what is going on here okay let's get rid of you three we do want water wheels I'm like what's going on here things look wrong So why don't we, that worked out quite well, 
So they should be able to build from both sides. And, let, and let's make sure they can they can do that. We'll just run some pathing down here so beavers don't get too upset. We'll have to work our way across here as well. And definitely not with all of those. And then what we're going to do. In fact, we will do the interchanges just in case. But in spots where we know we don't need anything extra. Come right here. Connect all that up. Connect all that up. Prioritize this, even though they can't get to it yet. That there. And a nice little path. So now I could get cheeky, but we're, we're going to do this quite simply. I'm just going to come in. We are going to put another set of platforms right along the path anyways. You know what I should do? Hang on. We are... Let's make sure we can take full advantage of our space. So let's come in here. And we are going to... Well, let's, let's, let's spend the extra. We'll do a four-way. And actually, what I want to do is we are... Mm, no, we need it there. We need it there. So they can easily build that. So they can come along here. Connect. Come all the way across. And they can get all of this built. Now, to make sure they access the things in the right order, we're going to build this first. And that should be good. So it's gonna it's gonna take them a little bit and and that is fine so let's get all this built up get all this going so we get scavengers going we get the smelting going and then we get access to some uh explosives well the first bad water tides has started but also hunger which is thankfully about to be solved uh carrots uh, are, are popping up here i had to turn on the gathering flag so we can get some berries as you can see we have basically no carrots. We have very few berries. The water's fine, except up here. All the water is now, well, bad water, is being pushed through where we are looking to put a bunch of power, which, wow, it's actually almost overflowing too. Wowzers. But if, as soon as we get all this power built, it's going to be nice. So, no. Nice thing is, it's only a six-day bad water tide, so... Uh, yeah, it's going to be fine for now, so this should be okay, but we'll, we'll keep an eye on things here. So, like I said, we'll, we'll pop back. I just want to show this. We'll pop up. Woo, pop back up as soon as we get all this up and running. Houston, we have a problem. Uh, yeah, the, the, the floodgates, I had to close them because, yeah, the drought ended, the bad tides started, ended, but... Yeah, it, it opened them up and it let all of this through, which is killing. Oh, no. It's absolutely going to kill our colony here. So what I think we might even need to do. Well, we got to wait for all this to clear up. So, oh, my goodness. Uh, I am not sure what is wrong with these settings. Yeah, not not good at all because they when the drought starts height of two so great let's let's keep all the water in here drought ends maybe i should just worry about the bad tides oh hey, caramba so as you can see it's a bunch of mixed water it's starting to slowly clean up so I think what I can do is I can I can drop these for now. Because we're gonna have to pump oh my goodness, all this bad water. Like all the good, good waters all the way over here doing its thing properly. Oh my goodness. Okay. It it it, it is what it is. Um Thankfully we have plenty of water. Our food situation is kind of kind of okay. Uh, the water is slowly uh, coming uh, coming back, but oh, these trees are they dead? Oh, all these trees just 
died instantly. Dead, 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 dead. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, 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 no. And it's flooding here. The, the land is looking to fight back. We lost some trees here. These guys are holding on barely. You can see it's starting to get purpley, so it is it is cleaning. It's gonna take a bit. So why why don't we help with some of that? Let's come over here, demolish this. So it can come all the way down here. Ooh. Yeah, that's really not gonna help at this point, is it? Where else can we get it to help? Uh I think think. Oh, what can we do? We can remove one of these. We can, we can start demolishing that at the same time. Okay, the water is cleansing itself here. It's kind of caught in a bad area. Oh my goodness. Sargon. Okay. Water's getting cleaner. It's Okay, okay. We we should be fine. So we just gotta wait for all this to clean up. But this is built. So let, let's get the last little bit of this built and then we can uh, see how things are. All right, it is time. It is time to come in and unlock the explosives factory for 400 science. Let's, let's do that. We can plop it right next to uh, Mr. Smelter because why not? So we need metal blocks, which we have, well, almost 30 blocks, but they'll come along. Gears, uh, we almost have 30 gears. And we have, wow, 206 planks. So that is not a problem. Now the next part of what we need to make the explosives, if you look here, we need bad water. Uh, now, completely ignore the fact that we've got 10 really sick beavers. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that next time. So, but let's come in here. And where are we? Water. We're going to unlock the bad water pump for 250 science. So you can see we need metal blocks, gears, and logs. Not a problem. So let's do that. And I think we can fit it right in here. And that's going to work out really well. There we go. Boom. Why is that going to work out really well? Well, you'll have to see next time. But okay, for now, though. Let's come in and make sure we can also store a bunch of bad water. And so why don't we come and... Oh, drought incoming. Drought, drought. Oh, no. Actually, we should be fine at the moment. Uh, let's... Can I fit one in here? Hmm. You know what? Let's, let's put that one right across from now. And we can collect bad water so that bad water as soon as we can collect it it'll go right into here which then they can just come on down and and get the the explosives or to the explosives factory which will be really really nice so speaking of nice this is almost done so all right so let, let's see our first production of explosives well we have bad water we have metal blocks and we will soon have explosives being made so our little production area is coming along so as you can see here we are now able to produce uh the explosives we're just starting to collect the the bad water here so that will come along we've got plenty of power look, look at this look at this power here 2000 power and we don't even have the backup emergency uh treadmills here for the beavers to hop onto but they are there if if they are needed so that is coming along so i would like to say you know what we're in a good position but we are in an okay position we have a drought incoming but we have like nine really sick beavers so that is something we're gonna have to work on but that is uh next time thing so uh, you know i think that's a good spot to leave it so i'd like to thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time bye for now